Today we're on the way over to Oahu. Got my dad with me, he just flew in from Florida. Super stoked, headed over there to see my buddy Blake. The plan is go out and target some ukus, maybe some onos. I don't know, we're going deep. I've never been over there. I have no idea what to expect, but we're gonna see what happens on the way to the airport right now. We'll catch you over there. Through TSA, only about six agents had to check on my neck weight, <laughs> but we're on the way. Made it to Oahu. Yo! Blake picked us up. We're getting all the gear ready right now from floats to fins to chum to sport tubes and everything in between. a.m. made it to the boat ramp calypso <laughs> stoked the first spot that we hopped in at was in like 130 feet of water and immediately Blake decided to start chumming it was insane we literally had four ukus up within five minutes what was so cool was that they were coming really close to the flasher and it was really nice because we're deep and I don't want to be taking shots too deep. There's sharks around, but it didn't take long at all. I extended my gun here and honestly, I think I just rushed the shot a little bit. Totally cooped it. I was really sad. Decided to just start chumming again and see if we couldn't get some more to come up. That last shot was anything but a confidence booster. But I figured if I could keep myself collected and just drop super slowly, I might get another opportunity. So what I'm trying to do is just keep myself super, super slow. And the last thing I want to do is have my gun move around too fast or my head move around too fast. I don't really know Uku behavior all that well, but I'm just trying not to scare them. I don't want to seem like a threat. And they're all kind of moving away from me. So typically I'd abandon the dive right there, but Blake did tell me you can kind of keep pushing it. Right here, he gave me the slip and somehow pulled off that above shot. Crazy, but it went through and through and that slip tip deployed. So all I'm trying to do is just pull this thing up as fast as possible. There's sharks in the area. And the last thing I want is for my uku to get eaten. You can see Blake is right there behind me and ready to pull on it just in case I'm out of breath and want to let go. But we are pumped. First uku. We moved spots after this in hope that we could ditch some sharks, and um, yeah, we were not successful whatsoever. But there's a whole lot of life right here. There's a bunch of opelu eating and a bunch of sharks, but thankfully I did see some big old uku down deep. And as I'm dropping, I see a really nice one. Blake told me sometimes if you just drop really slow, they'll turn around, and that's exactly what happened right here. I did not think that shot would be that easy, but I spined this big old uku, kind of freaking out how stoked I am underwater. But I'm treating this like cobia diving, I'm trying to get the fish in my arms before I even reach the surface so that the sharks do not come out. But we are pumped. up on another uku takes a shot keep in mind my uku is still in my left hand 
I decided to try to dive down and see if I'm going to have to help or what. Sharks are coming in to check it out, but Blake's doing a pretty dang good job at ripping this thing in. Good old headshot on that fish. He's already got secured. This is a pretty interesting drop right here. Basically, we didn't see any ukus come up in the chum at this spot, and that was the first time that this had happened all day. I really don't like turning my back to the sharks when I don't have to, but it was looking like I was gonna have to do that on this dive. But only after a few seconds, I just started kind of following the shark and just looking at him, and I spot an uku way in the distance in the back. I really didn't think that I was going to have a shot on this uku, but I decided to line up anyways. Quickly I realized I'd be able to take a crazy long shot, and that's exactly what I did. Look at that laser, so sick. That is uku number three. These sharks definitely did not want to share their chum with the ukus, but all you could do was poke them off when they got a little bit too close. Now this is absolutely unreal. I look over, see an Ono, and watch Jordan just blast that thing. Immediately I realize I need to unclip my float line so that he doesn't have to use his reel on his gun because I know he's going to get spooled. Now the race begins between us and the sharks and I'm trying to swim as fast as I can to clip this float line on because if he gets spooled, it's probably over. If the fish tears out or if the sharks get to it, we're gonna be really, really disappointed. But I think because we have some skilled divers in the water, if we all put our minds together, we're gonna be able to land this fish. You can see we kind of struggle for a second, but we get it clipped right there. And now, the race continues. Noah goes down and puts an absolutely awesome backup shot in this fish. And it looks like we got there just in time to poke these sharks away. So, so stoked. And honestly, this is the first Ono I've ever watched somebody shoot in the water next to me and land it. Just look at that fish. So pumped. What an awesome one. As we reset, Blake hopped back in the water and it did not take long whatsoever for these ukus to come in. He takes an awesome shot right there, through the head and out the neck, and you kind of see it literally separated its gills from its head. Knew that fish was incapacitated immediately, and it makes him so much easier to pull them up with those good headshots like that. Blake secured that fish in seconds, and look at that, another awesome uku in the box. Dude, yeah, that was a rad shot. Nice one. Noah swims down on this uku and is going pretty dang slow. I thought that he was going to shoot right there, and really, my guess was that he lost his opportunity. But I dove down anyways to try to video and watch this. The fish circles right back around, and he's able to take a shot he's way more comfortable with. I love being leveled out compared to taking a shot from above, but sometimes I'm worried that I just won't get another opportunity, and luckily he did right here. Spine that fish, so stoked. With plenty of fish in the box and the weather only getting worse, we decided to make a run in and prepare for our feast of fresh fish. What well, was? <laughs> Successful day! Yoohoo! I can own on the top it off. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, bro. So rad. Crush these zukus today. Now we're gonna fillet these guys up, make something sick.
This fish was so fresh and so delicious that Blake really didn't want to overdo it, so all we did was some butter and some light seasoning. Bro, what do you got right here? Dude, we're scoring some blue that we caught earlier today. I'm gonna cut up some sauce for the boys. Sick! Is that Ono? Yeah. Bro, Uku and Ono? What's, which one's gonna be better? Oh, hard to say, but personal favorite is the Ono. Okay, okay. I can see it. It's looking, looking pretty fire. Still. That spearfishing was everything I wanted it to be and way more. Huge, huge shout out to Blake. He really made this trip happen. The spearfishing was so, so incredible. And the fish, bro, A1. Tasted so good. I've never had Ono that fresh. Top tier. Can't wait for the next adventure. I'll catch you guys in the next video.